Mark, one thinks of North Korea as completely sort of locked down and very difficult to, for even North Koreans to move about, but it seems there's a bit more flexibility than perhaps we understood. Yeah, clearly much more flexibility when, than what the, the, the West uh, thinks usually of uh, North Korea. It's new, so it's not something uh, that has been going on for, for years. Uh, but we have missed this change uh, over the past 24 months, uh, let's say. The, the first thing you see, you notice when you arrive, you have uh, traffic jams, for instance. So you have uh, more and more people having cars. Until now, it was a big street with nobody uh, driving in it. You see uh, sky... Uh, um, skyscrapers, scrapers, uh, big buildings, a bit like in Dubai. Uh, the difference there is that it's the army that is building the, um, the, these big buildings, but they do exist. But we thought uh, the uh, North Korean economy was on the floor. Where's the money coming from? It's, again, I think it's, uh, it's, a, it's a mistake we, we make. Uh, there, there is some money in North Korea. Uh, there is more and more uh, private initiative. From what? Private initiative. That's, that's really the, uh, uh, what the, the government is trying to push for. Uh, they encourage people to go out and, and get money, get business uh, done, uh, and share the outside profit. Outside the country? Outside the country, uh, China mainly, Russia as well. Uh, and the condition uh, they set is that they have to, to share the profit and they have to reinvest uh, the uh, foreign currency they earn abroad in the country. They desperately need foreign currency, and that's one good way they found to, to bring it in. But you use the word share. That means that actually people are allowed, in a small way, to be capitalists. Yeah, absolutely. This is something we, we misunderstood. Uh, there is a, a capitalist economy uh, in, in North Korea. If you take the farmers, for instance, they are allowed to sell uh, the production that goes over the plan, and they're allowed to cash the profits from the, for themselves. They are allowed also to cross the border and go even uh, to, to China uh, to buy stuff there and bring it back. But of course there is a downside, isn't there? Their family is effectively kind of psychologically held hostage. Of course, they, uh, they, they have an incentive to, to come back. Uh, but still, uh, if you look at the business perspective, it does radically change compared to earlier. Mm. Um, one of the things you mentioned was mobile phones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there are many more of them. Yeah, it's between one and three million. Uh, they're not clear uh, statistics, but it's... Uh, it's interesting, it's, it's completely uh, erupted uh, over the past 24 months. Uh, when I was there the first time, you could see already uh, quite a few in the streets, but now it's, it's really all over the, uh, the capital. And even when you go outside the country, it sounds really strange, right? but you, you see in smaller cities uh, people with, with mobile phones. These mobile phones only communicate with the inside of the country, so there is no way to call somebody abroad. Nevertheless, the moment you have mobile telephony, you have a loosening of uh, control. Depends. As long as you can control the fact that it doesn't communicate with the outside, uh, you still keep control on it. But it's subversion like... is something which happens inside. Is there any of that? Sorry? Subversion. I mean, the sort of uh, beginning to dispute the regime, etc., is something which happens inside, doesn't need outside. It's faster to, to, to spread things through, through the phone, yeah, uh, absolutely. What the about the internet? The internet is, is right now only uh, limited to the capital uh, and, and mainly to the universities where, where, mm -hmm. where the students are. Uh, and it's an intranet, so it's not an internet. It's, it's again limited to, to the inside no of the country. No access outside. Yeah. But if you go to some ministry, like the, the foreign ministry, uh, they do get access to, to the outside world. It's not completely locked, as we believe. So is all this down to the new leader? It has changed a lot since he came to, to power. He in, has or those around him have? I think his age, he, he has uh, set a new uh, direction for, for the country, so he, he, he decided to, to, to do things differently from, he, from his father. He, he's under tremendous pressure as well. He knows that uh, it's not for granted that he's a, a, a country leader. Um, he has to, to listen a bit more to, to what the people say. Uh, but but he was depicted as a kind of playboy when he, uh, when he became the leader. I mean, it suggests that he's a bit of a thinker. He's somebody who most probably studied abroad, uh, so he's got a, a broader understanding of what, what uh, the West uh, thinks. Um, yeah, I think he's got something in the brain, yeah. And, and that the, there are no forces trying to prevent him doing this? Inside, there is the military, which is always, uh, like in every country, trying to slow things uh, down. Uh, but there is such a need to further improve the economy, because what I mentioned before is really uh, related to, 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 to the capital, mainly. So if they want to bring the rest of the country, uh, the, the other 22 million uh, North Koreans that aren't living in, in the capital, they, they need to put a, a plan forward. And that's what he's trying to do. If, as you described, there are many more cars on the roads and there are actually traffic jams, there are many more mobile phones in existence, etc., it suggests personal wealth is beginning to develop. Yeah, it's beginning, beginning to emerge, and that's a big, big problem, because if you have very uh, wealthy people, as you see them in the street in Pyongyang, 
when a, father a farmer comes into the capital, uh, how does he react? And that, that's the key thing he has to solve, uh, the, the young leader. He has to, to strike a balance so between... So there is a tension between the poor rural classes and the wealthy capital classes? Yeah, clearly. It's, it's, it's visual. Uh, and the same happened to, to China. The same is happening now to, to China. So he knows he can try and follow that example to avoid uh, having a, not a war, but a dispute between the, the, the two sides. And his best strategy so far has been to try and give the broader people more perspective. He, we saw in the film uh, the, 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 um, the delphinariums, the, uh, the water parks, the, all these recreation parks. It's a way for him to, to share, let's say, uh, mm -hmm. what, what he's uh, trying to earn for them. And it feels like he'll succeed? For the time being, there is so much hope and people are so willing to change, uh, that they, they do believe uh, in, in what he says and they do believe that uh, it gonna, it's going to bring them forward. Uh, whether it will be enough, that's, a, that's another question. If one looks at what happened before the Iron Curtain came down in Europe, it was the leakage of images of what we had in the West that in part informed people about what they didn't have. Is that happening in North Korea? Yeah, clearly the borders nowadays are not uh, as, uh, as close as, as they used to be. It's impossible to completely close the country down. Uh, but again, I, I think the, the, the key challenge for, for him is, uh, he, he's elsewhere. He, what he tries to do, we always think in terms of personality cult. So we see North Korea like a strong leader and, and, and people just following orders. Uh, what he's doing is, is pretty different. It's much more uh, delicate to understand, but it's worth explaining. He wants uh, the people to feel extremely proud of being North Korean. And when you talk to North Koreans who've never met a foreigner before, the first striking thing is that they are very at ease. So they talk to you as if we were equal, which is, which is the case. But there is no embarrassment or uh, uh, I don't feel at ease uh, talk, talking to you. So this sense of pride is what he's trying to use to make them uh, sustain or support or accept their, their, their current fate. They know that the economic situation of the country is not great for the moment, but he's telling them, wait, I'll show you the way and I'll bring you there. And right now we are in this phase where people believe in him and let's see whether he can bring them forward. Mark, thank you very much indeed for talking with us. Pleasure.